Okay, so Arrow are releasing the He Came From The Swamp set. Seven movies by William McGreffy. Uh, a kind of low budget, 60s, 70s era director. Um, I don't know a thing about him and I managed to get my hands on a couple of the movies to check out. First one I threw on was Sting of Death and, and it just pops straight away. It feels like a 60s beach movie. Um, everybody's super happy, super bright colours. We are introduced to someone who is killed by this giant jellyfish type monster which looks like a man in a suit. Um, and we're introduced to a bunch of characters who have come to this uh, small area of swampland in Florida where a doctor is uh, researching uh, man of war jellyfish and we have a group of characters there who are going to be picked off one by one by this giant humanoid like jellyfish type creature. <sighs> it's a specific kind of movie. You're going to know whether you like this or not. The blood looks like strawberry jam and the creature's makeup looks particularly dodgy. It looks like a man in a suit. And right from the off, that kind of put me in the back foot. But midway through the movie, the movie actually challenges that concept and I really kind of liked it when it did. And we have these wonderful cast of characters who are nameless because I just didn't care about any of them enough to learn their names. They are there having a party. There is a wonderful dance number midway through this where they're doing the jellyfish, a made up uh, song with made up dance moves for this, sang no less by Neil Sedaka. And we watch these characters just kind of have a little bit of fun. And we kind of find out who's going to be picked off first. We have red herrings uh, throughout the movie. We have a, a, a dodgy helper for the scientist called Egon, so close to Igor, who uh, is a little bit disfigured and feels that everybody's poking fun at him and he could possibly be looking for revenge at some point. But the locations are wonderfully bright and sunny and very different. The acting, although mismatched, seems suitable for this kind of movie. I could quite easily see people doing pastiches of this kind of film, this brightly coloured uh, swimsuit wearing females dancing near pools um, picked off one by one feels as if it's something that should be constantly shot in darkness but it's super bright uh, and it's uh, very clearly shot on this wonderful location which adds a hell of a lot to the movie in my eyes and the more this film went on the more I kind of grew into it. It starts off rather abrasively with an opening scene of someone being killed by this human jellyfish. And it feels as if you've missed a, a prelude, a scene before this. It just kind of kicks in and then we get to meet the characters and then we get put into the situation and start to discover why these things are happening and figuring out that they're all alone, the boats have all been damaged and they're stuck here in this one location. It's very low budget. You can feel that by the way it has its limited actors and its very limited sets, but shooting on location really adds a hell of a lot of production value to the movie. The transfer looks great, it's bright, it's colourful, it's in your face and it has a very clean aesthetic about it. And though it's a clean aesthetic, it's typical of those beach party movies in the early 60s. I really enjoyed Sting of Death. It kind of gave me an idea of what these movies are going to be. I think it's important if you're looking at this set to check out the trailers for them. They are a little bit kitsch, they're a little bit campy, but they're incredibly fun. Uh, they have a, a certain level of creativity about them. Although the jellyfish may look like bags that are just floating in the water, which they probably are, it's still kind of fun. It's still uh, interesting to see how we can have these shortcomings in production with the jellyfish and this wonderful scene of a boat being sank with people uh, screaming round about it and climbing up and sliding down as they are picked off by swarms of jellyfish. It's incredibly fun incredibly campy, silly, bright, kind of uh, pretty in the way that it's shot. 
I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on Stinger Death. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.